Welcome to the Badass Babe Oracle Podcast. The vibe here is how to manifest in a simple and fun way without the bullshit overcomplicated methods or fluff, the energetics of activating your abundance frequency and soul purpose alignment. I'm your host, Kelly Pender, your spiritual manifestation coach, and together we're going to uncover the truth of who the fuck you are to open yourself the F up to actually receiving the abundant success and money to easily flow into your life or business. All of your desires begin with you. You are the Oracle. I'll see you inside. Hello, my love. Welcome back to another episode of the Badass Babe Oracle motherfucking podcast. I've always wanted to say that and I don't know why this is my first time. Anyways, this episode is so fun and you know I love quantum physics, quantum state, aka the abundance realm and this episode is going to launch you right into it. And what's so fun is that I have my client Hannah on the pod today and in one of our sessions she was like, I know this sounds kind of weird or controversial, but I smoke to connect to the quantum and manifest so quickly from there. And I was like, um, me fucking too? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this because there's nothing wrong with using weed or whatever as medicine, as a tool to tap you even deeper into the quantum, right? And we get to talk about that and we get to talk about how we utilize it, how it feels for us so that you can feel into how this feels for you. And we're not saying like, go home, light up a joint, smoke a bowl, like unless you want to, (laughs) But we're just talking about ways that we have used to tap into the quantum to expand us even deeper into who the fuck we are and who we came here to be. And I just want to take this moment to celebrate Hannah because she hired me to feel solid in her energy, to further uncover and embody her soul gifts to create her successful coaching practice. And she's fucking doing it. And she's broken past old limiting beliefs that were keeping her small with imposter syndrome that we all know and experience. And she's already growing her business and making massive fucking moves from the quantum. And I'm so proud. And if you're feeling the pull to work one-on-one with me to step into your inevitable success fast, I have two spaces open this month. So you can DM me the word portal and I'll send you the application or Manifest That Shit University, my mastermind is open. This program is epic and I am so excited about it. This is where you will learn a step-by-step system to have expanded on or opened up new revenue streams leading to $1,000 or more in 33 days without trying to be positive, without overcomplicated methods, adding more to your plate or taking precious time away from you or your loved ones. This is the end all be all manifestation program where we're finally going to break you free from money blocks and allow you to manifest more money now. And for all the details on this program, you can DM me the word manifest and I'll send your way. Or if you know that you're already in, head to the link in the show notes and we'll book an abundance frequency audit so I can feel into where you are, where you desire to go. I am so excited. Again, you can DM me the word manifest or head to the link in the show notes and book your abundance frequency call to join us inside Manifest That Shit University. And without further ado, let's dive into this juicy effing episode where we're going to tap you right into the quantum field. Woo. All right, everyone. So we have Hannah on the pod today, who is one of my current one-on-one clients. And this episode was inspired from one thing that she shared with me in one of our sessions. And I was like, girlfriend, this needs to be on a podcast episode because this is so fucking powerful and potent. And everyone is so nervous about talking about this. And we're going to make a whole episode on this. So in our session, you were like, I know this may sound a little controversial or I don't really know, but I use weed to help me tap into the quantum. And from there, I'm able to like massively manifest in quantum leap. And I was like, hold the phone. (laughs) Yes, so do I. And let's fucking talk about it. So let's talk about it. Tell me how long you've been doing that for and like, what comes through for you, how you set the intention, because we're just going to dive right in and just have a whole conversation about this. 
Yes, I love it. Thank you, Kelly, for having me. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be talking about this. Um, okay, so I would say like it really started kicking in for me during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, it was like everything just came to a standstill for so many of us. And I kind of started, I mean, I had smoked weed, you know, in high school and just growing up, I kind of dabbled in it, but it was during the pandemic that I really started to use it as a tool. Um, and I remember like specifically the night that like, I just felt this incredible shift that I had never felt before, like into my body, everything around me dropped and I just sunk into my body. And it was I had had like kind of a stressful evening that night. I was with my sister. She was going through a lot at the time. And I came home and I was like, I just need massive rest. And I smoked a bowl <laughs> um, for the first time in a while. And I remember just laying down and it was like, I became so still that I just sunk into my body, everything around me like lifted. And I remember feeling this massive energy just lift out of my body. Mm. And it was like the first time that I really surrendered to just like, oh my God, there's so much going on. You know, this feels like too much to mentally take all in. Yeah. And it was like, the weed just allowed me to surrender into my body. And it was like, from then on, I just kind of became hooked. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, you know, I mean, I live in Washington state where it's legal. And mm -hmm. so there's so many dispensaries. There's so many different types of weed um, just to kind of play around with and experiment with. And yeah, so that was kind of where it all started for me, like the exact moment. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. I love this. This is amazing. Um, all right. So for those who are listening, what I want to share is today we're talking about using weed very intentionally and almost like ceremoniously to tap into the quantum specifically, and also to connect to universe source, God, like whatever, whoever you believe in. But right when you were saying, I just felt this energy and I felt myself being so like lifted and connected, that's you being connected to source, right? And mm -hmm. then that's you being connected to your power. And so many of us, I say this all of the time, but so many of us forget how effing powerful we are and forget that we are capable of manifesting literally anything that we desire because we are one with the universe. We're co-creating with source. You can say like, I am the motherfucking universe, right? And as we're yeah. just moving through in this human form, this human state, with so many subconscious programs going on behind the scenes, we forget how to truly just like surrender and connect and ground back home to ourselves, to our soul mm -hmm. and connect and anchor into source. And mm -hmm. I just want to share that there's different ways of using weed. And like for me in the past, I used to just smoke to numb myself out because I didn't want to feel, I didn't want to feel my emotions. I didn't want to feel my pain. I didn't want to feel the grief I was going through. Right. And then there's like a different level where you smoke just to like, ha ha, I'm having fun, whatever. Like, I just want to laugh and be silly or just like watch a show and veg out. Like that feels really good for me. Yeah. And then there's mm -hmm. another level where it's like, I'm being really intentional. I want to fucking feel, and I want to crack myself the fuck open. Right. And that's the level <laughs> that we're talking about today in this episode, just for those who are listening. What I wanted to share is that, yeah, I said this before we hit record, but last night <laughs> to prepare for this podcast, I finally smoked after a year, right? After Bay Bay. And I went into it and I, I just want to share this for those who are like, how do you use weed intentionally? Right. 
So I just want to give the little like play by play. And I, I want you to share like how you set the intention. But for me last night specifically, I was like, okay, kids are in bed. Like bye husband, you're good. Everyone's good. <laughs> it's fucking me time, right? Like that's number one. And then went in there, lit the candles, Epsom salt bath, pulled in my crystals, brought in the bowl. And I was like, oh my God, I miss this bowl. It's been a year. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, I go in the bath, right? And then I, I want to invite you to tell us what you do. I went in the bath and then I plugged in a meditation to connect to my future self. Very basic meditation, right? Nothing like, holy shit. But I set the intention I want to connect to my future self. I want to be propelled into the quantum. And before I set that intention, I smoked just a little bit because it's been a really long time and my tolerance yeah. level is <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's at a baseline right now. And so literally as soon as I smoked and as soon as I heard the meditation, I was like, oh, it's happening. Like the feeling state is so fucking powerful and it just shifts you from the mental concept, the mental state of what we say and what we hear, like tap into the frequency of your manifestations, right? Feel it. And all of us are like, okay, I want to feel joyful. I want to feel happy. I want to feel wealthy. I want to feel really effing good about myself. And that's just the mental concept. Right. Mm -hmm. And so last night I set the intention. I want to fucking feel the frequency of success of my future self of me playing in the quantum. And I fucking did. And I'm going to share that story in a second, but I want to hear, I want to hear how you set the intention. Yeah. Uh, okay. So for me, I generally do it before I fall asleep because I know that's when like my day is done. I can settle in. Like for me, it's all about being really, really still yeah. and dropping into that innate stillness, which takes a lot of practice because yes, there's so much chatter in all of our daily lives. And so being able to just drop into that state where you, there's nothing else going on. You know, for me, it's like, I'm already planning on falling asleep. This is just the precursor to that. Yeah. I mean, for me at this point, it's like I I drop into that state to connect and to release. And it's like, I don't want to say that weed is the only way that gets me there, but it's like this instant state that I can drop in. I'm like, okay, everything else around me is fading out. I'm able to just really like tune into how my body is feeling. I can tune into the energy of my body. I can, um, you know, it's like if something comes up during the day, a lot of the times I don't have time to process it in that moment because, you know, life is just moving. And it's like at the end of the day, I can, um, yeah, just like process what happened, process how my day went, process how I was actually feeling during the day. And it's like, I can feel all that energy just kind of swimming in my body. And, um, you know, the weed just helps me like disperse that energy to where it needs to go. Yes. As you were saying that, I'm like, yes, I so get this. And for those <laughs> I'm just thinking right now, like this could feel like we're speaking alien language, <laughs> <I know. laughs> which is great. Which, I love it. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, a, a little bit. And so for those who are new to this, this can feel like alien lingo because all we know, like, and all we were taught is to operate out of the human, right? And to just play in logic and to play in Newtonian physics, right? The A plus B equals C. This is what you need to do in order to receive this, blah, blah, blah. And so that's what we're conditioned and programmed to believe and operate out of. And so when we shift from Newtonian physics into the quantum state, it's it can sound like alien lingo to the human mm -hmm. brain <laughs> because mm -hmm. it's new to us and because it's quantum physics, like you're playing in energy. You're shifting from this human 
I don't want to say basic, but like this human form, the 3D, all we're experiencing to a different energetic frequency. And it can feel like a totally different world, a totally different realm because it is right. It, it is. totally is. And as you were saying that, I'm like, yeah, I feel the same way. And it's, it's not that we're shutting down the human. It's that we are quieting all of the mental stories and bullshit that's telling us play small, stay here. You're not good enough. You shouldn't do that. That doesn't make sense. It didn't happen in the past. So why try again? Like it allows that to just quiet down so that you can really plug into source. And, and what I want to say with, with you and with me, it has taken practice to get here, to tap into the quantum, you know, utilizing weed as a tool because we allowed ourselves to first reprogram the subconscious, right? And this is something that's super important. So for those, and and this came through to me last night in my weed ceremony bath, for those who are like, I don't understand how to tap into the quantum yet. I've been trying, I've been trying. I don't understand this energy that you guys are talking about. Like, I don't get it. Sometimes I feel it, sometimes I don't. And I want you to think of it as like levels, right? So level one is allowing yourself to reprogram your subconscious mind first. Because for me, I truly couldn't get to level two, which is playing in the quantum field until I did the subconscious reprogramming first, because my mental concepts, stories that were keeping me in my current circumstance, weren't allowing me to get into the quantum energy. Do you feel yeah. the same with that? Absolutely. Um, I think, you know, yeah, that's exactly it is you're playing in energy, which for so many people is a totally foreign concept. I get yes. that. I feel, let's see. Yes. I feel though for like, I, and this is probably not for everybody, but for me, it's like, I just unlock different layers, like you mm -hmm. were saying. And, you know, um, I guess when I was first starting out first, very intentionally using weed as a, a ceremonial medicine, um, that didn't, I didn't realize what was going on at yeah. first. I didn't realize I was doing this subconscious reprogramming. It was just, you know, it was this totally new expansive experience for me that mm -hmm. just allowed me to keep wanting to go deeper and keep wanting to uncover and pull back these layers to get to the soul, to get to the spirit, exactly like you're saying. And so, yeah, it, it takes practice and it, you know, it might seem scary at first. It might seem like, what is this? This is so new. This doesn't feel safe. This feels so unfamiliar. Yeah. Um, so that's a big part of it too, is feeling safe in your body to allow yourself to kind of unravel all those layers. Yes. Oh, I, I love that you said that because that's the third level, right? Like unlocking connection with your body, with your emotional state. Right. And so it's almost like you allow yourself to do the subconscious reprogramming, clear out old stories and beliefs, creating new neural pathways, as you know, I love to talk about. And then level two is allowing yourself to play in that quantum realm in the energy. Once you get there and really feel it in your body, which I'm going to share in a second, then that level three is feeling safe in your body, feeling safe to feel those emotions. And that's when you tie all those pieces together, mind, body, soul, right? And you feel yeah. so fucking connected to source that you're able to then like pull that connection down into your body where you embody that source energy. And you're like, holy fuck. <laughs> yes. I am connected. Yes. Right. And I see yeah. you being like, yes, yes. But again, for those who may be like, what? This takes practice. And this takes the inner, like it takes you deciding I'm ready. I'm ready mm -hmm. for something different. And when you decide that you're ready to do something different, so many things open up and then it gets to be fun playing in the quantum. It doesn't have to be scary. Yes. 
Yes. It's so much fun. So much fun. Once you get familiar with that energy and realize that it's just you being connected to everything else, it's mm -hmm. like exactly like you just said, it's fun. You, you light up your, you feel free, you feel yes. expansive and, you know, you have this innate trust that just everything is going to be okay. Yes. Oh, I love it. Okay. So I want to hear about your recent experience and then I'll tell mine about last night where we had a session and we did the neural energetic encoding to release imposter syndrome. Right. And then either right after that night, you had your intentional weed sesh and you were telling me so much came through for you. So do you mind walking us through that around what happened for you and what you experienced? Yeah. Okay. Let me even try to like figure out how to put this into words. <laughs> <laughs> so for me personally, it's like, I can, okay. So we released that imposter syndrome when I was like, I forget what the age was like six or something. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I had my smoke sesh and things started coming up for me from like teens and like early twenties of, you know, just, okay, let me back up a little bit. I guess like what I know now is to go back to the first time that I felt a specific feeling. And it's usually a very uncomfortable feeling. And it's like the first time that we experience that and our subconscious ends up protecting ourselves from that because it was such an uncomfortable, scary, big feeling. Mm -hmm. And so for me, um, let me just try to think of an example. So I'm, you know, I'm new to my coaching practice and I'm still just kind of starting out. And I, for me, it was like, when was the first time that I felt really afraid to put myself out there? And it kind of came back to like school age and I, I felt it in my body. I felt this big kind of tight energy in my chest and I just sat with it mm -hmm. <laughs> and it sounds so simple, but I didn't try to, um, you know, I didn't try to close it off. I didn't try to run from it. I just was so deep in relaxation that I just let that feeling take over until it was released. Because once that feeling is, is totally felt, it releases from your body and it doesn't need to come back because it was given the space to be felt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You broke free. Yeah. You broke free. I broke free. You felt it. You felt that uncomfortable emotion attached to a limiting decision that was playing out in your life over and over and over again, preventing you from doing what you truly want to do, what you've been desiring and manifesting for yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so it's like going back to those those really uncomfortable experiences or feelings or, you know, thought patterns that keep us really stuck and just feeling into it. And it's hard to do that in our day-to-day -day lives. Again, like we're bombarded by so much. It's hard to just carve out even like 60 seconds to be like, okay, this feeling, it feels really big. It feels really scary. It feels uncomfortable. So we shove it down Mm -hmm. And then the feeling just compiles and it, it never gets released. And it, it continues to be a block because we're not allowing ourselves to, again, like you said, fully immerse ourselves in it to release it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And you allowed yourself to feel that fucking big, scary emotion, which was connected to that limiting decision. And and let me just say, for those who are listening, who think, God, like that sounds like that could take a really long time. How long do you think that took for you to just sit with that feeling until it dissolved and dissipated in your body so you could move forward? Yeah. Again, it, it can feel like forever, but I like 45 seconds. Okay. Maybe 60. <laughs> 
see, and, and I'm asking you that. And thank you for saying that, because again, I, I can't tell you, and, and this was me in the past. I would be like, oh, I don't have time to add more of these manifestation methods to my to-do list and to my plate. Like I'm already so busy. And the fact that, I mean, let's say that I, I did guide you through a one-on-one -on -one session. So <laughs> we set, we set the tone there so that you were able to do that. And then you continued it on your own where yes, then that took 45 seconds. And I'm highlighting this because again, for those who may be new to the quantum realm and new to manifesting, it doesn't need to take forever. We just thought that it did because of past events that didn't work out. And now we're just playing that scenario over and over and over again, looping us in the same habit cycle pattern. And it's like, actually, I am able to break free and I am able to move forward. So after you had that emotional release, where did you then go quantum wise? What frequency were you able to shift into where you were tapping into your future self, into building, creating your soul aligned business? Yeah. So again, it's like hard, it's hard to put into words, but it's just that block was no longer there for me. And so it allowed me to, let's see, just for like lack of a better term, think, think bigger, feel bigger, feel into new possibility um, without that like nagging sense of self-doubt or self-criticism or um, you know, who am I to do this? What yeah. if blah, blah, blah. Um, because it's like, once that is fully gone from your body, it's not in your frame of mind anymore. It's like, not even, not even a possibility because you have released that you you're on to the next step. You're on to the next level. It's like, you've unlocked your own code mm. to get you to your next expansive step. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. That was very beautifully said, very beautifully put. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, it's, it's so crazy. And, and again, I didn't say this in the beginning. So disclaimer, we're not saying for those who are listening, you need to smoke weed in order to tap into the quantum. Like, <laughs> right. do you, yeah. do you, we're just highlighting that this is a tool that has worked very well for us, right? And and I think that it's worked really well because for me, when I smoke, it's like my senses are heightened, right? Mm -hmm. And having that heightened sense, it's really amazing to set the intention of where do I desire these heightened sensations to go, right? And you can mm -hmm. have it go multiple ways. We can have it leak outside of us right? To other people. Or it's like, Ooh, I want to take this heightened sensation energy, channel it up into source, into quantum. And then by playing in that energy, I get to then pull it down into the here and now. So I want to share my experience last night. And so I was listening to that meditation and this is from one of my coaches in the past who the way she teaches, she teaches energetics of human design. Okay. And so this was a meditation for me when I was in her projector course, projector HD right here. And when I was listening to it, because it was tapped into the energetic frequency already, like the intention was there, everything was there for me. So when I was going through that meditation and, and again, like I said before, it was so simple. It wasn't like this three hour meditation. It was literally seven minutes. <laughs> And yeah. all it was, was just connecting you to your future self. And, and literally all she simply said was just visualize your future self. That was it. That was it. Mm -hmm. And that's all it needs to be. I'm saying this so that those who are listening know that it can be very simple. And so as I was connecting to my future self, I set the intention of the success frequency. And what I did differently this time is that I pulled in the color of success. And for some reason that for me, just like whoop, open up this whole new door. 
And what came to me was like this like purpley blue, which I felt my human brain be like, no, Kelly, success should be golden. And I was like, shh, mm. shh, <laughs> be quiet, human. Like things come in where your human brain wants to take you into logic and back into Newtonian physics, right? And as simple as the color of success, quieted that, let it take me onto this blue purple color. I let it fill my entire body. And the second I had it fill my entire body from head to toe, I felt this elevated sensation of success and it had absolutely nothing to do with my external circumstances, right? That feeling, that frequency of success, it wasn't circumstantial and it felt so fucking good to feel the frequency of success in the quantum and to let myself be there without attaching meaning to it, without old stories being in the way, without old limiting beliefs, like to feel the purity of just the frequency of success without anything diluting it or distorting it. Oh, it was just so fucking potent. And so I just played in there for a bit. And I was like, this is it. And this is so fucking fun. This is so fun. And then my channel opened, all these things came my way. But what really came my way was like, this is where you get to play. This is where you get to show up as this is where you get to lead. And what my subconscious mind revealed to me as I was playing in the quantum was like, and again, like you were saying, there's layers right? And I want to share this because for those who are listening, you may see me and be like, Kelly, you're the most confident, magical queen. <laughs> like, yes, thank you. However, there's <laughs> layers there. <laughs> there's layers. Yeah. And what's cool is that you get to keep un like raveling those layers to expand even more. And so what came my way as I was really tapping into that frequency was my subconscious showed me something that happened last year where I opened up a masterclass and maybe like three people signed up. And I remember being like, that's not enough. There should be more. And I made my power and my success be completely circumstantial, right? Mm -hmm. And then my subconscious showed to me, you've been showing up out of that like bitterness frequency, and you've been holding back your teachings, your wisdoms because of that past experience. Right. Mm. And it was just like, detach from that. That was circumstantial. Be in your power, be in your energy, be in this fucking quantum and show up from there where you're excited, where it feels light, where it feels free. And as I'm saying this, I'm like, duh, Kelly, human brain, you teach this to others, you know that, but for some reason last night, I just unlocked a, a newer, higher embodiment of it, right? Which feels so fucking good. And, and again, I'm sharing this to show you, there's still some things hiding out in your subconscious that's keeping you tied to past events, that's keeping you small, and that's keeping mm -hmm. you in the same circumstance. So by revealing that to me, I'm like, I don't have to do that anymore. I don't have to play back there anymore. I get to play up here. And that feels light. That yeah. feels free. That feels expansive. That feels alive. I'm not shutting myself down to keep myself safe. Right. I don't yeah. fucking care how many people sign up or show up. I'm doing this because it feels good. And this work is so alive within me. Like I get to do this. And I embodied it on a whole different level. So that's what I was excited to share with you because it's so that's fucking beautiful. fun. Thank you. <laughs> it is. It's so fun. And again, it's like you're in a different realm. And mm -hmm. once you, once you experience that, and again, once you get familiar with it, it's like you see, I mean, yeah, there's two different ways. And one is the human way. And one is the, the soul's way. And yes. the human is down here on earth. And of course, it's all connected. But the soul is here to play and the soul plays in the quantum. And with enough practice, and maybe not even for some, maybe some people will just be able to tap right into that and get what 
you know, we're talking about. Um, but it's so, so fun. So good when you're able to experience that. Yes. Oh, what you just said tied that in so beautifully. And, and, you know, because we uncover where we're operating out of our safety identity, which is like human self, protect yourself from harm, from fear of whatever it may be. And then our soul is here to be in our soul essence, right? Like that's the identity we're meant to show up as move, be create from, which is connected to quantum, which is connected to source. That's when you feel I am the motherfucking universe. And what was amazing mm -hmm. about my weed ceremony last night is that it revealed to me, Kelly in the human, you're still in some ways, which is okay. I don't want to use the word still, but you are still showing up in your safety identity in certain ways, right? In my business. And, and again, I'm vulnerably sharing this because so many people are like, ah, I've been doing the inner work. Like, why am I not there yet? And I want you to see it as a perspective shift of you're doing the inner work and things are fucking happening. You're moving. Mm -hmm. You're, you're already so like much further beyond than where you were last year, last month, last week. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the more that you uncover, the more you get to expand, the more you get to connect to your future self, bringing them in the here and now. And so it felt good for me to be shown like, oh, you're still showing up in your safety identity in some areas in your business. And I felt that safety in my body and you don't have to do that anymore. And I mm -hmm. just had this huge permission piece and it felt like, <sighs> Like, I wish that I could have recorded myself of that feeling, <laughs> but again, it's, it's wow. kind of hard to explain, <laughs> but it's like the most like, ah, oh, like, oh, I don't know. It's like orgasmic soul energy feeling of just like, oh my God, I get to do this. Like <laughs> I get to do this work. I am so fucking lit up. I feel alive. Right. And yes. that's it. Like, that's the quantum energy. I love all of that. And the beautiful thing is that we can tap into that at any point, at any time. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, I think we just thought that we couldn't or it was like not accessible to us and only accessible to like a select few people in the world. It's like, no, it's available to you at all times at any time. Right. And it doesn't take an hour's worth of meditation. Like this mm -hmm. can be done in, again, 45 to 60 seconds. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's amazing. So I want to hear what you have manifested in your life. This could be anything from being in the quantum. Mm. Oh my gosh. Where do I begin? Um, okay. So let's start with like concrete. I manifested my car you know, just a simple Toyota RAV4, but that came into my life. So, so effortlessly. <laughs> I have to interrupt you because my dream car was a Toyota RAV4 too. And now it's my car. <laughs> what color? White. Black. Okay. Amazing. Oh my God. I love <laughs> it. That's so funny. <laughs> okay. Um, keep going. Yeah. Again, so I'm working one-on-one -on -one with you and I feel like you liked this story, but it was the new year and I was just kind of writing down my goals, um, not so much my resolutions, but just what I wanted to accomplish this year. And I wrote down, I want to work one-on-one -on -one with Kelly Pender. And I think I just like messaged you that and you were like, oh my gosh, here's the, <laughs> here's the uh, like application form. And I filled it out and here we are. Like we are. that was so easy. But again, it was, it was because I tapped into that frequency of, yeah, like success and my future self. Um, and then, you know, just like very small manifestations, or I don't even want to say small, but little manifestations throughout the day, just, um, you know, just like things going my way, things working out for me and not at a cost to anybody else, just because I'm in that frequency of tapping into my manifestations and my abundance, it's like, 
life just flows in with ease. Um, I'm looking over to my right. I see my suitcase that I manifested, this olive green suitcase. And I was like, it, I was like, I need a new suitcase. Oh my gosh, what do I want it to look like? I don't want it to just be black. And I was like, I picture an olive green. I walk into the store the other day. It's the first thing I see. And it's like <laughs> little things like that, that show you that the universe is on your side. The universe wants to support you. And it's when we can tune all of that, like the brain chatter of, oh, that's not realistic. That that couldn't happen for me. Um, that seems so far fetched. Mm -hmm. It's like once we tune that out and believe that our manifestations want to find us, like <laughs> they they end up finding us and we manifest so easily once we really are rooted in that belief. Yes. Oh, I love that. Um, two things. I'm LOLing at how we manifested the same car. <laughs> That's so fun. And okay. So this is what I want to highlight. I'm celebrating you because it is very easy for us to, like I said, play in logic, be in Newtonian physics, make decisions from our current circumstances. And you didn't do that, right? Like you knew that you desired support. And so I love this writing down, working one-on-one -on -one with me, you made that decision from your future self, from your higher self, from playing in the quantum field. And mm -hmm. that's amazing. And that's something that I encourage others to do because when you make decisions and moves from your higher self, from playing in the quantum, that's when fucking big magic, big money, big abundance, big love, big fuck yes comes your way right? Because you're aligned yeah. to that. And because you're excited and lit up by that. Does it make sense logically? No, <laughs> no, not really. But if we keep not continuing always. making decisions from logic, we're not going to expand or move forward or grow in our lives. We're just going to stay exactly where we are. So I'm celebrating that. And I want to highlight that to others listening, because it can feel very scary making moves and decisions from the quantum realm when it doesn't logically make sense in your current circumstances. And a lot of the times it doesn't logically make sense to people around you who are like, eh, mm -hmm. you shouldn't do that. You should wait until this. You shouldn't invest in that. You should put your money elsewhere. You should do this. Right. And that's just people speaking from their own fears, keeping you where you are. So that's amazing. And then the other thing, what did I want to say? Oh, how you were talking about how the universe, it, it wants to support you. It's here for you. Can we share that funny money story that happened when we were talking about, <laughs> when we were talking about the creating new money, making neural pathways and clearing out your old money story. And, and I was saying, because you were like, I don't know. I've just, I forget what you said, but but I asked you, I was like, have you found a dollar on the ground, $5 in your pocket? And you're like, yeah. And and what did you say when I asked that? What did I say? Like, like maybe, yeah, no big deal. Or like, yeah, but it's only like a dollar. Yeah, it's only, yes. only $5 that I found. Yes, that's exactly what you said, which I was like, that's what most people say, because that's a logical thought. That's what we're programmed to believe. Uh, I found a dollar, but it's only a freaking dollar. And by doing that, remember I said, and I want those who are listening to hear this, when we're doing that, we are minimizing what the universe is gifting us. The universe is showing us, see, random money can show up at any given time at any moment. I'm trying to show you, but when you see it, you're minimizing it. You're discrediting me. So I don't want to send you any more random money. Right. And so I was like, just let me know the next time you find a dollar or something so that you can celebrate it and be like, holy fuck, this feels like a thousand dollars. And then that night or that like a few hours later, what happened? Yeah, we got this like random survey in the mail and it was just like a 10 question survey and, and it was two dollar bills. <laughs> 
And it was like, here's $2 bills to fill out this survey. And I messaged you and I was like, oh my gosh, Kelly, $2. Like, again, celebrating it like it was $1,000 that just came my way because exactly that. Like the universe was like, hey, here, here's free money. Let's see how you respond to that. Let's see how you take that in. Because if you're not happy with $2, like why should I send you more? Right. And so it was, it was perfect. Like just such divine timing that that came in after we had had that conversation, like three hours prior. Yes. The universe is so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. And I love it. Was it. Great. it was great. Mm -hmm. And, and what I said to you, and I, and I want to share this with others listening, because I mean, for me, I was like, God, I see all these people just randomly having unexpected windfalls of money. What, like, why can't that happen to me? Are you discrediting the random $2 you get in the mail? The $5 you find in an old purse, right? Because the moment right. you find a dollar, $2, and you celebrate the shit out of it, like it's a thousand, two thousand dollars that's the energy that's going to compound, build momentum. And then the universe is going to send you more and more and more. It all starts with mm -hmm. you and how you're responding. Right. Oh, yep. I love that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> yes. So again, for those who are listening, we are not telling you that you need to go smoke and have a weed ceremony to connect to the quantum. I invite you to, if this is lighting you up, if you feel curious about this, go for it. Go for it. I love, I love doing it in the bath. You like doing this at night. What? Like in your bed, maybe, or do you have I a do special spot? Bed. I do it in bed. Amazing. I like to be lying down. Yeah. Yeah. Same. That's why I like the bath. Cause you're like laying down and just cozy. So yeah, get curious, whatever. And if, if weed isn't it, what tool, like maybe it's tea, maybe it's tea that connects you to your third eye, to your intuition, right? It could be anything. As long as you're honestly, you could put crystal in fucking water and just set the intention that by taking this sip, that by smoking this weed, whatever it is, I'm setting the intention that I'm going to connect to my future self, that I'm going to connect to the frequency of my manifestations of my desires that's the only intention you need. And just let yourself go there. Let yourself play there. And I can't even yeah. wait to hear what happens for those who are listening. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. This feels really good, really complete. And one question I always ask my guests is what makes you feel like a badass babe? What makes me feel like a badass babe? I mean, it's definitely when I when I feel that connection to my soul, to the spirit, to source. Um, and it's, I, I mean, I can tap into that when I first wake up, I can tap into that throughout my day. It's just that feeling of just being in who you are being in alignment. Um, not feeling like you're not living life for anyone else but you like you are really really living life on your terms and again like for a lot of us that's hard to go a whole day in that feeling so it's anytime you can just tune back into that or drop back into that and just have the awareness of oh yeah I'm here for me like I get to be in this frequency I get to have fun I get to play like I get to be here simply because I'm here that's when I feel the most lit up. That's when I feel badass. Oh, I love that. That was beautiful. That was a nice little nugget of wisdom. Oh, thank you so much for sharing everything with us. This was really, really fun. And tell us where we can find you. Yeah. So my Instagram, you can find me. It's H-A-N Silverman underscore. Yes. All right. I will pop that in the show notes so those can connect with you, see what you're up to, get into your world. Ah, oh, thank you so much for being here. This was so much fun. Thank, thank you, you for sharing your Kelly. magic. Yeah. Oh, thank you for having me. This was so much fun. Ah. Yes, queen. 
That was so much fun. Thank you so much for tuning into the episode. Be sure to tag me on Instagram at the underscore badass babe with your takeaways so I can celebrate you. And as my gift for you, please subscribe, rate and review on iTunes, and I'll send you my exclusive Awaken Abundance meditation. I'll see you in the next episode.